Hey guys, it's Erica from the Wanda Mount Pleasant Branch. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, dashboard for Canvas, which is the new LMS learning system for Charleston County or the learning management system. Um, I'm gonna show you how to log in, uh, what you'll see on the dashboard, um, a couple different features, and I'm just going to touch on them and explain what they are today, but later on um, in the video series, you'll actually be able to look at different parts of what we're going to talk about about today more in depth and understand how to utilize those um, the best way that fits for you. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and log into Canvas. So now the uh, email and password for the uh, Canvas should come from your student's teacher um, or your student if they're um, in the high school, middle school, uh, they'll have their email and password. A lot of the time, CCSD will put it through the Clever application uh, so they can sign into Clever and then that way they'll be able to access Canvas that way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my information. And this is my dashboard. Now, up here, my web address is a little bit different than yours. Um, I believe for Charleston County, it's going to say either charleston.info, uh, instructure or charlestoncounty.instructure.com. Um, mine is just a free account, not associated with the school, so that's why it doesn't say Charleston County on it. But so this is my dashboard. As you can see, it's not terribly overwhelming, it's very clean looking. Um, each of these little blocks are one of my students' classes. Now, I only have one student, so this is his English class, his science class, and his social studies class. If you had numerous students, you would have many, many of these blocks on here. And you would want to go ahead and, um, if you're in your parent observer account, which again is another uh, video we're going to explain, you're going to want to take a tip from me and organize them a little bit better so that it'll be easier for you to access what classes your different students are in easier. But for today, um, I am just on my student's um, dashboard for Canvas. He's got his three classes on here. And we're gonna go over here and talk about this navigation bar. This is really um, where you'll go for most of your information within Canvas. Um, so up here, we're gonna start with the Canvas button. This is basically the home button. So no matter where in Canvas that you are, you can hit this button and it's going to bring you back to the dashboard. So this is kind of like your home button. It'll keep bringing you back to that same beginning. So if you get lost out there in Chrome or in uh, Canvas and you just wanna get back to the dashboard, go ahead and hit that initial Canvas button on the top, okay? Then right here we have the account. So my son Jimmy's account, you can see if I click on it, it has several options. Um, notifications, there is going to be a video on this. Notifications are numerous. Uh, you get to choose which ones you want to set to different um, frequencies. So some you can set to uh, send you information daily, weekly, um, never, um, or immediately. Uh, it all depends on what is, <clears throat> excuse me, fits best for you. The profile um, is just the basic information for my child, um, and it also allows them to put in a picture, which I have not done yet. Their files are where they're able to keep things that they submit for their classes. So if they have all different kinds of things that they are going to produce, their assignments in that, um, they can be saved as a file on their um, account. Settings is a great. Um, area. This is where I can see my students' um, information yet again. Um, I can see email addresses. Um, this is also where I'm going to be able to pair an observer. So as a parent, I can create an observer account, and this is where I'll get that code from, which we're also going to cover in a video later on. And then QR for mobile login. This is another one that's going to be super helpful. There is a video on this. Um, you can go ahead and take a picture of the QR code with your cell phone, and you'll automatically be able to log into your student's account um, from there. So it takes that extra step out for you. So that's the account. If we go to the dashboard, we're back to home screen again. If you notice, we have, again, his classes on here. Each of these little bricks is a class. We also have his to-do list and his recent feedback. Um, I'll go into depth on those in a minute. Over here, we have courses. 
On this tab, you're going to see the courses listed for all of your classes. Um, if there are ones from past years, you can actually um, get to those and you can also add a course. So as a student, if one of my uh, professors gives me a course that I have not already been enrolled in, which for Charleston County, your student should have already been enrolled in all of these classes. So they should automatically appear on their desktop. However, if for some reason it didn't, let's say it's an elective and it's an art class and the teacher gives your student a, um, a course code, this is where they would go to go ahead and add that to get into that class. Over here is the calendar. The calendar is an amazing feature of this program. Uh, it really helps a student to stay organized if they're not normally organized for themselves already. Um, it also helps you as the parent to view what assignments are coming up and when. There's actually going to be a video on how to um, use the calendar uh, as um, using it to the best of what it can offer. Uh, it is, a, again, a really great tool and it'll be um, huge for you as a parent to be able to track your students' assignments and see what's due when. We have the inbox next. Uh, Canvas is great. It's all-inclusive for you, your student, and the teacher. Um, before, if you had to email your teacher, of course, you had to know what their email address was. That's not the case with Canvas. Instead, um, you're actually able to email the teacher directly through the learning management system as long as you know what class you're trying to get to, which if you know as a parent, if you have several students in CCSD, it's really hard to keep up with the emails of, you know, eight, nine, ten different teachers. So this really enables you to have a faster link to that uh, teacher. There's a video to show you how to create an email to a teacher using this inbox. Um, hopefully that is um, easy enough. And if not, we can always hopefully make a different video. Um, but besides that, the last one over here is your help button. This brings you to the panda bear. The panda is great. He is all knowing. Um, you can go ahead and go into the Canvas guides, the Canvas uh, developers really thought a far ways out to what questions parents and students may have, um, and they've created these guides. So if there is something that you cannot figure out and I'm not around to help, uh, you can always go into this and um, keyword search, and they should actually have a guide already created for what you're trying to do. Um, and their videos are very good. They're very um, slow and well-paced so that you're able to keep up and uh, they also have you know, additional help. So I believe there's a chat that you can use um, or an email. And then of course there's reporting problems or um, if you think there's a feature of Canvas that there isn't and there should be, uh, you can actually submit it to them and they will consider adding that feature to the programming if they think um, it will be of use to students. So that is our navigation bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Canvas so I can get back to my home screen. And here we are. And then I'm gonna talk about this little box over here. So this is the to-do list. Um, this is just a very quick glance at the work that is coming up for my students uh, the soonest. So I have a social studies assignment due on the 24th of September. Um, and it just shows me real quick, okay, this is what I have to do on my to-do list. Um, it's going to be all of my classes though. It is not going to be just my social studies or just my science. Because you're on the main dashboard, it's going to include all the classes in that to-do list. Uh, the same goes for recent feedback. Recent feedback is a cool little um, add on here where you can see whenever a teacher grades an assignment and they leave some type of a feedback or a response, it's going to list it over here. Again, it's going to be for all of the classes because this is the main dashboard page. So there could be feedback from my science teacher, my English teacher, my art teacher, um, whoever I am um, enrolled in with these blocks. And then last, we have the view grades button. Uh, you won't need a start a new course unless your student plans on creating their own canvas, which would be pretty impressive. Um, but uh, view grades is great. It takes you directly to the grade book for your student. You'll be able to see all of the grades that they have been um, receiving, or um, you can see if something is missing, if it was late. And really, it's not the definitive. There is also, I believe, a power school with Charleston County. So that is where um, there will be also grade storage. 
So there will be a video going forward about how to check grades, um, and we'll cover that a little bit farther in that video. So really that covers the basic dashboard and a quick overview of what you will see in your student's Canvas. Um, please take the time to log in, uh, click on things, look through things. Uh, the best way to get through technology is to use it. So the more you can play with it, the more you'll be able to figure out um, how to attain what you're trying to look for quick. So uh, that's the end of today's video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Uh, please stay tuned to see a quick overview of the class bricks, which we will be looking at next. And again, if there's anything we covered today um, that you want more in depth or there is something that we didn't cover, please send us an email and we'll try and get a video up as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for joining me guys. Have a great day.